Anyway, this is Lolly Jamal, a.k.a. Ali Jamal. A thread, viewer discretion is advised. Ali Jamal is a cross-dresser. What does the Bible say about cross-dressing? I think they say it's bad. I think they say it's bad. The cross-dresser blocked because I published this thread. Yeah, I bet he did. I told him last night. I said, Ali Jamal, look, son, son, keep your fucking mouth shut about me if you know what's good for you. I said that last night on Twitter. You need to keep your fucking mouth shut. First off, I'm going to call your mama if you keep going on and on. I'm literally going to call your mama. I'm literally going to call your mama. Second off, you're about to get taken to the woodshed in a big way, in a way you've never been taken to the woodshed. It is kind of sad, Mary Jane. You're right. But I'm done. I'm done being nice about it. I'm done ignoring it. You want to talk shit? Okay. Well, I don't have to talk shit. I just have to tell the truth. Same for, for Fuentes and his fucked up crew. I don't have to talk shit. I don't have to make up shit. I'm the one who made you anything in the first place. Every single groiper to a man fucking pissed on you in public and in private, and I've seen them all do it. The fact that you would roll with these freaks over me is an absolute fucking disgrace. And you know what? I wouldn't even take that personally because I know you're mentally ill. I wouldn't even take that personally if you didn't if you would at least keep your fucking mouth shut about me. But you don't want to do that. Okay, well, I'm telling you now, that's a big mistake. Because I'm gonna fuck you up. And so I'm gonna go through this thread and we're gonna talk about it a little bit. But I'm kind of giving you even one more chance. That's right, Purse Picasso. You're sitting in the electric chair waiting for me to hit the switch. I'm kind of trying to give you even one more chance. Because when I fully go in, I'm not going to stop. Ever. For the rest of your fucking life. Do you understand? For any reason whatsoever. If you pop your head up, I'm going to bop you right on that fucking head hard. With a fucking baseball bat. Rhetorically speaking. And so, if you really want that type of relationship with me, keep saying that bullshit you're saying on Twitter. Because I'm the one who made you anything. And I'll break your fucking ass. Period. I will absolutely break you. And you will wish you never fucked with me. Now I'm trying to be nice about it. Really. Because I feel bad for you. But you know what? I don't feel bad to a certain... You know... One or two more words come out and that's going to be gone. That last little reservoir of goodwill toward you is going to be completely gone. And so, I don't care if you roll with America first or not, but you better keep your fucking mouth shut about me. Because the charity is almost at an end. Frank sent $3. Any chance of a gym? Sargon, Milo, <laughs> Spencer stream? Sorry for the wish. Well, that's kind of some heavy lifting there. Um, that would require some heavy lifting, but... Um, I mean, I would host it, of course. I'd be a part of it, yeah. But uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, that's fair. Jay yeah, you know what? That's fair, actually. Jaden actually made Awi Jamal a name in the sector. Yeah, that's kind of true. And then he turned and sucked Fuentes in AF. Yeah, that's true. Milo said he's down, so Milo and I are both down. So there's two two members of the equation right there. I would think Milo maybe could talk Sargon into it. Now, who could talk Medicare into it? I don't know. But uh, Spencer, that would be that would really add an unknown element there. Uh, Anonymous sent three dollars, just like with Brittany. You need to call the parents on Ali. They trust you. Nick has been so awful about Ali. It's a I disgrace know. he would pick Nick over you. I mean, it really is a disgrace on that level. But you know, I don't take that personally. He's uh, trying to be in a cult. They don't want him. Imagine trying to join a cult. A cult, and they say we don't want you. Like, okay, first off, maybe take a signal, take a hint, and thank God that they don't want you and fucking go do something else. Okay, but usually, you know, imagine trying to join a cult and they're like, uh, yeah, Sargon, I think, would be, I think Milo could get that done, actually. Yeah, people get nostalgic near the end, that's true. 
I mean, so Milo's pretty much saying that he could get Sargon on. So me, Milo, and Sargon are in. Jim, if you're listening, uh, I mean, that would kind of be like the legendary epic Gamergate reunion, basically, um, that I think everybody would mark out for, to use a wrestling term. Mark out means even when you know it's fake, um, even when you know it isn't real, you still like get excited because some crazy moment happened. This isn't fake. This would actually be real. Uh, so, <laughs> I swear, dear Mister Jamal, we regret to inform you that you are not pedophile cult material. Uh, yeah, that's literally. They literally wrote him a letter. By the way, they actually sent him a letter because I've seen it. And you know it's funny because the last and by the way I'm in for that stream a hundred thousand percent. I I would love to do it and um, I feel like I was born to do it honestly. Um, <laughs> not only would I love to do it, I feel like I was born to do it. So yes, that stream I mean makes me smile to even think about. It. So yes, I would do it. Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> it would just be legends, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, Milo. No offense to, I know you're not buddy buddy with him. We're not, get, we're not exactly buddy buddy these days either. We were sniping back and forth. He tried to say that story about Elon was fake, and then I tagged him the next day when Groypers were getting cleaned out, and he uh, kind of admitted that maybe it wasn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, it fits more just to have the Gamergate legends there, just because. I mean, why is Richard? Just, <laughs> just from a narrative standpoint, it's like, oh, the four Gamergate OGs, and then. Richard Spencer, it's like, <laughs> that doesn't really fit. Although he did say he would come back on the show recently, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't want to put it like that quite, but we are kind of, I don't want to toot my own horn either, but um, they called it the 9-11 on the internet the other day when I was talking to somebody. It kind of was, and uh, we were on the plane. <laughs> Not as passengers. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I mean, I get nostalgic just thinking about that. Of course, I'm a huge, um, fan of nostalgia in the first place. Uh, I always play that clip from Mad Men. The true Four Horsemen, that's right. It would be peak nostalgia probably in the entire history of the, this whole sector, this whole corner of the internet, so. <laughs> Milo said, tooting my own horn is all I have these days. I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Um, but yeah, you look at this Ali Jamal stuff, and it's like, what? Punished Far Four sent three dollars. You'll never top the Allison Prime reveal stream or IBS apocalypse. Nah, it's a high bar. I don't know, man. This would probably top it, really. Just getting all those people on the same stream, um, I think would probably top it, really. I mean, yeah, it would. I don't know. I, I get. Uh, that would be both those streams are classics, yes, but uh now that Ali Jamal has snaked his former mentor, that's what he called me, yeah. And beloved close personal friend Ethan Ralph, he's pushing lies that he's only going to be in JF for life. By the way, the last time I talked to Ali Jamal, do you know Wait, hold on, what is that you're sending me? Oh yeah, I'll still play that that bit of audio where Charles Johnson and Spencer are talking about me. Yeah, I'll still play that. We'll get to that in a minute. There's the Josh clip we haven't played yet either. Pua sent three dollars. I would be interested we to see a gifts. Spencer Milo dynamic in the current Guess day. I, mean. I think both figures are very misunderstood, and to some extent, they misunderstand each other. I don't think they need to be so opposed to each other. Well, that's. Anonymous sent three dollars. Sargon and Spencer have some fun that's history. True, that's true. Seeing a debate between them again would be cool. But yeah. For a panel with the other four of you, Spencer would be the fifth wheel. Yeah, it's kind of like what, I mean, no disrespect, but it just doesn't fit, narratively speaking. It's like, oh, it's all of us, and then all of us former comrades, and then Richard Spencer. It's like, what? What the fuck? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, So I'm looking through. He was wanting me, the last time I talked to Ali Jamal, is he had written this letter to America First, and he wanted me to proofread it. Well, guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to read that motherfucker on air. That's what we're going to do. 
Wouldn't you know? He thought I didn't save it, but I did. Unbelievable. This is what a groveling little toad weasel he is. Toad weasel? I don't even know if that's... <laughs> A toad weasel? Let me pull this up. Dear Mr. Fuentes, I'm emailing today in an attempt to reach Nick Fuentes. Okay, well, you don't start it with Dear Mr. Fuentes if you don't even know if you're fucking talking to him, idiot. So there's my first critique. I didn't send you any notes last time, but I'll give you some notes now live on air, motherfucker. You don't say Dear Mr. Fuentes if you don't even know if you're talking to Mr. Fuentes, retard, dumb fuck. It was like Ryan Sanchez last night after we revealed, basically live on air exclusively, that Nick Fuentes was going to attend a panel sponsored by a pedophile, mo monetarily sponsored. And we know he took money, we just can't prove it. Because I got some other DMs about what he was requesting for certain things back in the day, etc. And I guarantee you he was getting paid. Now, he's not showing up now, so maybe he sent the money back, I don't know. But... Again, we, we went through all this yesterday. Stringer out in Arizona. I want to say Richard, not Richard, but uh, David Stringer, I think. Ali Dama, you just keep looking over your shoulder, sent $10. You never know when the raffle curse is going to strike. It's bad. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Apparently that was posted in their group chat, too, and they all mocked him. No! Ollie, no! What'd I tell you? <laughs> no! Knowledgeable sources tell me. CWC, though, to finish that story, he said the word D-barred. You can't be debarred unless you're taking a fucking crowbar out of your hands. You get disbarred, you fucking moron. Debarred. Debarred. Anonymous sent three dollars. I still feel bad for Ali. I have a soft spot in my heart for the mentally handicapped. Yeah, well, that's gone. That's gone for me. That's gone for me. I have to say, maybe just a little bit. It's so bad, Milo. Can we just read through this? It's really bad. And like I said, it was posted in their big group chat, and they all took turns making fun of him. So, no, it's not going to work, Ollie, and I could have told you that from the start and did tell you that, but she didn't want to listen. I'm emailing today in an attempt to reach Nick Fuentes. If this email address is handled by a staff member, can you please forward it onwards to him? Thank you. I'm Ali Jamal, a person who was active in your chat. However, at, around, at or around the month of October, I was banned from your chat. I've also received the attached document, which informed me that I was banned from all future America First events. The reason I've been told f was for issuing threats of violence, but this is false. There are a few instances where I believe, I, where I believe might have been why they are saying this. That doesn't make sense. Syntax, poor syntax, but whatever. Uh, number one, on Ethan Ralph's stream, I said I was going to check the Tozy Toss to see if I could say something. What I meant here was I wanted to check the toss to see if I could say some insulting words, but because I usually refrain from insulting people, I wanted to check the toss first. In the end, I didn't end up saying any insults. I also don't know how strict the moderation process was on Cozy TV, as it is a very new live streaming platform. I did not want to get my friend, my friend, yeah, we see what good friends we are, by the way. Yeah, my good friend. Why wow, he's getting a knife ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My good friend. By the way, we ain't good friends, motherfucker. We ain't never been good friends. So stop lying. You was lying then, and you're definitely lying now. I've never been good friends with you, lying fuck. Anyway. Someone sent in a super chat in which they impersonated me. Three, a person in the chat, likely the same person who sent the super chat, said a, th said a thread, wait, said a threat in Nick's live chat. They were impersonating me. I never typed out the Carson Wolf threat. As number one is not a threat, that should not be taken into account here. As for two and three... There are some people who impersonate my account, taking my profile picture and name and using it to misbehave. Sure would be a shame if more people started doing that, wouldn't it? And using it to misbehave and cause AF and my problems. This is terrible, by the way. Dude, he needs help, doesn't he, Milo? Like, literally. My good friend, yeah. What is wrong with this guy? He's literally sick. Sure. 
Sure would be a shame if others went around with his profile pic and started uh, causing a few issues. I sure would hate to see that happen. In fact, while investigating this, I found the person impersonating me in a Telegram chat. I completely understand AS position. Why? Because you have to. They were fucked up to ban you in the first place. Punished Farfour sent three dollars. Ali, the only way out for you now is to wear your surprise vest at the next AF event. This of uh... It's the only way you'll get your seventy-two body pillows in anime heaven. Inshallah. <laughs> I completely understand AS position because you have to be careful, super careful. That's not how you should ever write, by the way. You should never say super careful unless you're speaking. Even then, you really shouldn't say it, but, you know, we kind of informalized speech or whatever. But you should never write. Oh, God. We can't help him, can we, Milo? <laughs> you should never write. You have to be super careful. You have to be very careful, extremely careful. Enormously careful. Immensely careful. But you're not super careful. Because then you sound like a fucking retard. Okay. Uh, sorry, my language nerdness, nerdiness is coming out. <laughs> the ancient Greeks would have just strictly drowned them. <laughs> they were more sophisticated and sensitive people, Milo said, yeah. He should have been exposed at birth. That is correct, but he wasn't. <sighs> the Romans would just put him out on the Tarpian Rock or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Just leave him to the elements out there. Whatever happened, happened. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.